Right, you join me on this fine grizzly evening. Uh, I'm going to spend about an hour or so with this car, scrubbing up the underside. The fuel tank needs a bit of looking at. I already already made a start, um, and it's looking absolutely amazing compared to what it did. But I am just going to go over with my uh, stainless steel wire brush and my trusty drill attachment. So we'll get cracking. <laughs> And the areas that I can't reach, get the brush. I think you've got a better view, view, view for me. I'm wearing the safety glasses I always wear, but they do tend to steam up in these sort of conditions. So I'm actually watching the camera as opposed to watching what I'm actually doing. So we're both looking at the same thing, guys. If there's any rust it will come off as dust and what we want is a really really good base for the rust killer to take effect before I choose my rust treatment. I'm going to be very careful. I'm not going to bother cleaning the calipers because they are actually being replaced. But, um, yeah, I'm just, just, these seams have paired quite nicely. There's just barely anything, just bare metal. Now what I've also done is I've gone over this back exhaust box. I've just give it a bit of a brush just over here, all the way back there to the flange. That flange has been welded. I don't know if you can see that. It has actually been welded, so at some point it's broken off. But this is um, I don't know if the camera will pick this up. It's upside down. But this is a Walker's box. These are really expensive. Uh, Bosal and Walkers are generally the better ones to go for. Um, Claris is okay, but more of a sort of mainstream um, middle of the range exhaust. But these are quite nice. It's come up really nicely. Some of the um, chafing off the uh, metal ABS conducting has come off, but I might paint that. We'll see how it goes. But it's all come up well. I've even had a go at the tank. Uh, I don't know if I can bring you around. Actually, that's a good light. See, so I've actually gone round and had a really good go, and it's come up really nicely. That is now keyed for the rust killer. It's come up really, really nicely. There are areas I need to go up. I mean, the bits up here are a little bit more difficult. Up there, we've got some of the wiring that goes up the top there. The tank straps have come up quite nicely as well. I'll redo it, I'll go over them again. And um, that one there as well, but it looks quite nice actually, really nice. I'm going to go over this side now. Fair up quite a bit, but um, there really isn't much to actually look at. I mean, I can have a go at this a little bit. And that's really come up nicely as well. One notable area of concern that I looked at when I was looking at the original pictures I took when I bought the car was this fuel filler neck. And I'll tell you what, apart from just here, as you can see, it's just bubbled a little bit. It's absolutely solid, absolutely solid. Now I believe the facelift models didn't even get a cover for the top bit, so they do rust on these. There aren't uh, any arch covers on the uh, later 45s, I believe. Uh, and even the earlier versions only got like a little bit of cladding, but mine um, hasn't got either. Um, I think that was original. So we're just going to wire brush this back. And I don't know if the camera's actually picking that up. No. This is like ticking it, really. I'll go in with the bigger gun. And that is just really, really nice. 
nice. Just a bit around there where I'll, uh, I'll go over again, but that's come up incredibly nice. Again, this is the back of the passenger side train on. You see the bottom arm's cleaned up really, really, really well. I mean, I'm going to go around these bolts with a little wire brush. You see, that's what the, the little brush is very good for, you see. And obviously, you know, the other side, apart from the train arm bushes, which are <laughs> really not in the finest state, but, you know, they all tend to go eventually. Um, I am just going to wire brush this off just a little bit around the bolts. No doubt I'm going to be taking a couple of these off, certainly this one, if the, these brake hoses are going to be replaced as either preventative maintenance or um, because they start leaking. Yeah. Just little areas up like this, but this is quite usual at the back of these arms. Again, just go through the brackets here. I think that's my top tip when you're removing things from a car. Always wire brush the bolts before you apply WD-40, lubrication, plus gas, whatever you, whatever your bet is. Always wire brush it first. It gives you a standing chance of getting a socket on it and not rounding them. Even these, these brackets up here look a bit funny, but they don't look too bad when they actually brush down. And again, you get to know your car by just scrubbing it down. That is the extent on the um, jacking point. And I did go over that before. I've been over this area as well behind this uh, cross member bar. I've been over that a little bit. But as you can see, nothing. Look at the brake pipes. If these were Ford brake pipes and fuel pipes, they'd be absolutely rotten by now. They've cleaned up so nicely. But yeah, I'm just going to have another go at this area over here. these bits just clean it's just dirt in those areas and those drain holes work perfectly fine which is a really good thing but look at them brake pipes <laughs> all the way down the car it's just incredible there we go you can see how well it's actually come up on the surface. The tank straps are incredibly good. Like, they've hardly, there's, there's just nothing on them at all. I've got a bit of a gem down here. I mean, I can deal with bits like train on bushes. Um, but this is clean. This is at the back of the arm. Just gonna do a few bits on the tank around the strap. I don't want to take the straps off. But, uh, the shock absorber leaks, just surface rust. And it's all gonna be treated. And on this side, it's just more the same. That is it. I've had a go at that previously, just here. It's all right camera there just there that is generally where they tend to go and there's absolutely nothing absolutely nothing
Right, that was about 45 minutes of work and you can always judge with these jobs. You haven't done enough if it's not messy like this. So yeah, it's definitely been enough and um, it looks much better under here. You can see everything and it is ripe for some rust killer. Um, I think a couple more sessions of this and we will certainly be getting there. So uh, I will see you guys very soon. I now need a bath. See you very soon.